At noon, there is a new director in place for Rochester Animal Services in the city shelter off Verona Street, Stacy Papadopoulos. She was most recently with the SPCA in Pennsylvania. This move comes during a stretch of major changes recently, the resignations of the longtime director and the vet at the shelter. Also, concerns that we've reported on with overcrowding of the facility some days and the deadly virus outbreak last year among dogs. Papadopoulos joined us in studio this week explaining why she's taking on this job. This is what I do in my career. I, I run shelters. Uh, when I came to visit and I had my in-person interview, it was the place for me. I know that you go shelter to shelter, you will find some of the same problems. They are maxed out, a lot with staffing and just the animals. So what are your main concerns that you do want to address? Um, I think every shelter has room for improvement and Rochester is no different. But at the same time, every shelter does some things really great. And Rochester is doing a lot of things really great. Um, so, you know, I'm only on week two. Mm -hmm. So I'm still chugging along, kind of immersing myself in the way things are currently done. And there's always room for improvements, and we'll, we'll see what those are. And we'll kind of streamline some processes, make things better for animals and easier for humans. What is it for people out there who may be looking to adopt or someone who ends up with a pet and then they just realize it's just too much? What are some things they really need to consider before they go here so this dog, this cat, doesn't end back up where it came from? Do your research first. Be sure that your life is conducive to whatever pet you want, whether it's a cat or a dog or a small animal. Um, do your research first um, and then make sure that you have everything in place. Ask questions when you're coming to adopt. Make sure that this particular dog or this particular cat is a good fit. And we're always here for for resources on the back end. So once you get the animal in your house, if you're having behavior issues or medical issues, you can always contact us and we can always walk you through what needs to be done. And while well, just announced today officially, Papadopoulos there mentioning she actually started about two weeks ago. She adds there's always a need for adoptions, even foster families. If you're interested in either, stop by the shelter and give them a call.